It's been a couple of weeks since ChatGPT has been released and it seems as though every single day people are finding new and unique use cases for ChatGPT. So in today's video, I'll be going over 17 of my favorite fun and powerful use cases for ChatGPT. The first and one of the most popular use cases for ChatGPT is its ability to explain difficult or complex subject matters. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT to explain what that concept or subject matter is that you're trying to learn more about and it'll give you an explanation of that subject matter. The second most popular and probably the most innovative use case of ChatGPT is its ability to write code. So you can actually ask the AI to write you code for a specific page or a specific website. So if you're writing code in Python or in JavaScript, you can actually um, ask this AI to write you a specific code for a function in which you're creating and the AI will write that code for you. And then you can uh, work on that code and implement it on whatever website or page that you're creating. In addition to being able to write code, ChatGPT can also audit and fix any existing code that you're working on. So all you would have to do is paste that code within the chat box and ChatGPT will uh, go through that code and find any errors within that code. So if you're doing any computer science homework or if you're working on a big project and you want a helping hand, you can use ChatGPT as your coding assistant. Most people are aware that ChatGPT can help you write and fix any existing code that you're working on. But did you know that you can use ChatGPT to help you create a bot that will allow you to automate tasks that you do on the internet? So for instance, if you wanted to create a Twitter or Instagram bot, you can use ChatGPT to help you uh, figure out the steps and code that it takes to create such a bot. All you would have to do is describe the bot in which you would like to create. So for this example, I asked ChatGPT to create an Instagram bot that automatically likes a targeted set of posts from one Instagram account. And as you can see here, it actually gave me step by step instructions that I need to follow if I would like to create such a bot. As you can see, this is very powerful because if you have an idea for a bot or a software tool in which you would like to create, but I really have no idea as to where to get started, you can head over to ChatGPT type that in there and you can start getting some steps in which you can take to create that product or service that you have in mind. Or you can start the ideation process and then you can send this over to a software engineer to build out that tool that you have in mind. Another similar use case of ChatGPT would be using it to create a WordPress plugin. So the idea here is the same. You would ask the AI to create a WordPress plugin for you and you would describe what that WordPress plugin would do. And then you should be able to get some steps from the AI as to what you need to do if you would like to create that plugin. So again, this is really useful because if you have any ideas as to a plugin, a tool or software in which you would like to create, you can get started with ChatGPT. And as we can see here for this example, we asked ChatGPT to create a WordPress plugin that automatically connects to an Instagram feed to the homepage of a website. And we can see here we get um, some instructions. We actually get some code here um, in which we can use uh, to create this plugin. So again, this just lays out the steps for you. You can do it yourself or you can then go ahead and hire a software engineer or a coder to build out that product that you have in mind. The next use case of ChatGPT is its ability to create a SaaS company on top of the ChatGPT AI model. Because ChatGPT is free and it has an open API, you can use the playground within OpenAI to start building out and training your own AI model. So if you like to create a SaaS company in which you have an AI copywriter or you have a chat box included, then you can use uh, the open API and use the chat mode within the playground to build your own chat box or use the language modes to build your own AI copywriter. So of course, this can be a little bit more technical and complicated, but if you have some experience with these AI models, such as GPT-3 and ChatGPT, you can definitely create your own SaaS company that's built on top of these AI models. Or if you're not that technical, you can hire a team of developers to build that AI model for you, and then you just market and sell your SaaS company. Some of the most popular AI tools have done this and they've been really successful. So think of tools such as Closures Copy, Jasper AI, Airbrush, Word Hero. These are all AI copywriters or AI image generators that were built on those language models such as GPT-3 or DaVinci. So there's definitely opportunities out there for you to take advantage of these free and open APIs such as ChatGPT and build a SaaS company on top of that, start getting customers, increase the value of that SaaS company, and then you can decide if you wanna keep it or sell it. 
The next use case for ChatGPT is its ability to create custom marketing plans for businesses. So if you like a marketing plan or a content strategy plan, all you have to do is ask ChatGPT to create that plan for you, and they usually create a very comprehensive plan in which you can follow. So I asked ChatGPT to create a content strategy plan for my YouTube, and I actually got a pretty comprehensive plan here in which I could follow, defining your target audience, identifying your goals, determining your content format and frequency, create an editorial calendar, promote your videos, and so on. So it would be nice if you actually got some actual video topic ideas but um, we do have a nice content strategy here in which we can use another use case of chat gpt is its ability to create customizable workout plans to get the best results enter your body composition your body weight your bmi as much information as you have uh, pertaining to your body type and then ask chat gpt to create a customized workout plan for you so in this example, I asked ChatGPT to create a customized workout plan for a six foot male weighing 250 pounds that wants to lose 25 pounds in six months. And as you can see here, we got a pretty decent uh, workout plan in which you can start with. And you can also do this for meal plan. So you can ask the AI to give you a customized meal plan for a specific diet in which you're trying to follow. In this example, I asked the AI to create a five day meal plan for an adult who needs to eat 2000 calories per day, but make it keto friendly. And as you can see here, the AI is giving us a um, breakdown of the meals in which you can eat per day to hit that calorie intake, but also they've made it keto friendly. So, so the more information you give the AI, the better the output would be, and the more customized or personalized your outputs will be, especially when it comes to creating a workout or a meal plan. The next use case of ChatGPT is to use it like an AI copywriter. So ChatGPT is actually built off of GPT-3, which is a language AI model that most AI copywriters are built on. So you can use ChatGPT as an AI copywriter to replace all of your short and long form text or copy in which you may be creating for your business. So you can do things like asking the AI to write you a product description for a product or service, you can ask it to write high converting copy for sponsored ads and really any other type of short form content that you can think of, you can use ChatGPT to generate copy for that. You can also use ChatGPT to help you generate long form content such as blog posts or articles. You can first get started by asking the AI to generate blog post ideas for specific topics within your niche. So for this example, we asked the AI to give me blog post ideas about real estate. And as you can see here, we got some uh, blog post ideas in which we can possibly write about. And if you see a blog post idea that you really like and that you want to actually create a full blog post about, you can ask the AI to write you a blog post intro for that number or that blog post idea that it just generated. And there you go, you got a nice intro and you can actually generate your full length blog post or article if you would like to with ChatGPT. So again, I would just copy that headline, I would paste it in here and ask ChatGPT to write a full blog post about this idea. Another use case of ChatGPT is its ability to summarize articles or books. So if you need to summarize any specific book or article, all you have to do is ask ChatGPT to summarize that book or article and it will give you a nice synopsis of that content. For this example, I asked ChatGPT to summarize the book Atomic Habits. And as you can see here, we got a nice summary of that book. So you can use this if you're doing your homework or assignments, or if you just want to get a quick summary of a specific article or book, you can use uh, this feature in ChatGPT. Another use case of ChatGPT is its ability to create fun and engaging chat box games. So I came across this on Twitter, but someone created a game using ChatGPT. Essentially, it's a text based game. So there'll be a scenario, you can choose A, B, C or D. And depending on the choice in which you choose, that will depend on how um, that game will continue. So if you choose B, you'll have a different ending compared to if you choose C or D. So that's a little fun way in which you can use ChatGPT to create a text-based game and you can use that on your social media or you can use that on your website. The next use case of ChatGPT is to help you with interviews and help you get a job. So you can actually use ChatGPT to prep for an interview. The ways in which you can use this is you can ask ChatGPT any questions that you think the interviewer may be asking you or if the interviewer has already sent you questions, you can paste that in to the chat box and ChatGPT will help you with your responses. Another way in which you can use ChatGPT is to help you edit and fix your resume. So you can actually paste your resume on ChatGPT and ask it different questions about your resume. So you can ask it, hey, um, is there anything missing in this resume if I were to apply for a specific job? 
or you can generate specific text that you'll use on your actual CV or resume. So that's a couple of ways in which you can use ChatGPT to help you prepare for an interview and get a job. If you're a teacher, you can use ChatGPT to help you create a lesson plan. So you can enter what your topics will be about or what that subject matter is and ask ChatGPT to create a comprehensive lesson plan over a couple of weeks for that specific topic or subject matter. And also, if you're a doctor, you can use ChatGPT to generate medical letters for your patients. So if your patient has a specific need and you need to send over a medical letter, you can use ChatGPT to explain whatever that um, specific issue that they have, and ChatGPT will generate a letter for you that you can use uh, for that patient. So even if you're in the medical field, you can utilize ChatGPT. Pretty cool stuff. And the last use case, and probably the most controversial use case, would be you can use ChatGPT for legal advice. So if you're going through a legal battle or you need to get some legal advice, you can ask those specific questions on ChatGPT and they will be able to give you some answers. Now, of course, you need to be careful when you're getting legal advice from an AI because some of the information may be incorrect or outdated. So obviously you need to make sure you're vetting that information that you're getting back, but this can be a good place in which you can start uh, just to get some high level information about any legal battles or legal advice that you may need. So those are some of my favorite and innovative ways that you can use ChatGPT. In the comments below, let me know which ones you like the best and also let me know if there's other use cases of ChatGPT that you've come across. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and most importantly, I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.